and uh, away they go. Angel C catch your breath and Fairy Trip with the three slowest away, but Call to Glory got an alert start as the one showing the pace in the early stages from Duolona up second, Empress of Normandy a close up third. Then came Miami Beach in fourth position. They followed by Q, the Rebel, in behind that can't say no, and Angel C. Further back to Sea of Tears, who races towards the rear with Catch Your Breath, racing further back in the field. That's got about eight or nine lengths to make up, and right at the back is Demi God. As the runners work their way now through towards the 800, and Duolone has picked it up two and a half lengths clear. Of in second, call to glory. Empress of Normandy third, then Miami Beach. On the outside of runners, we've got uh, Can't Say No. Then came Q the Rebel. Demi God's got a bit closer. Fairy trip behind that. Catch your breath. Angel C is behind those with Sea of Tears. Homeward bound. 400 metres left to go. Duo alone is tackled up front by Call to Glory. Angel C is right down the inside. In behind those came Miami Beach. Towards the outside is Can't Say No. In front is still Duo Alona. Call to Glory is up along the Inside tries hard. Call to glory. Richard Faree for Alan Kreef. They back in business. Call to glory. Went away by three from Duolona. Third to catch your breath. And Angel C was fourth. Then Miami Beach. A look at the head-on replay. Well, it was certainly not going to last forever. I mean, it's, it was going to be four meetings without a winner for champion trainer Alan Kreef. And I suppose a lot of people relieved after this one. Call to glory. Has won it comfortably. The favourite goes away from Duolona in the end. Nice run, Angel C. Involved in a photo with Catch Your Breath. Wait for the judges' numbers for third and fourth there. And Miami Beach ran back in fifth position. Well done, Jessica Jell and the whole team out at Maritzfontein as the daughter of Kingman goes back-to-back -back here in the Eastern Cape under determined ride this time from Richard Faree. From the commentary box, so there's more racing to look forward to tomorrow down in the Western Cape, and then we'll be back at the Vaal on Thursday. Thanks for joining us. Back to the studio. Welcome back, and Call to Glory does just that this afternoon for the Alan Kreef in the final race this afternoon, and uh, nice to see the Kreef stable back in the winner's box as well. Richard Faree in those famous silks as well. Uh, well done to Richie. We're going to chat to them in a short while. But with me is Godfrey. He's collecting this, the final one this afternoon. 1,500 rank. Th thanks so much to World Sports Betting. And it's going to Cuba. Cuba back to back. This horse won its previous start and now won as well. So good money for Cuba. Thank you very much. Richard. How are you? All right, nice long, to have you back here. It's been a while between drinks. It's been a minute. <laughs> but at the end of the day, we can smile and we know racing, that's how it works out. And, and it's not easy, it's not an easy game. But um, it's hard for the punters out there to have the confidence. It's hard for the trainer to have the confidence at the moment. But it was so good to see a horse that started toad favourite end up winning the lucky last from the Alan Kreef stable. So well done all round. Yeah, thank you. Um, yeah, it's been a bit tricky the last four meetings. The horses look well, they feel well going to the start and they're just not running up to their usual self. So you know, something's definitely amiss somewhere. So we've got a lot of homework to do. But uh, I'm just glad that uh, you know, this one will brighten the mood and um, you know, get the boss happy and excited. And uh, you know, we'll focus and, like I said, we'll regroup and get everything where it needs to be. But uh, good one, nevertheless. So well done to Maritz Fontaine. Thank you very much for the support. And uh, to my uh, my sponsors at uh, Winning Form for their support. All right. Well, it's great having you back here. We like the positivity to finish the day, so we know we can look forward to what's coming up on Friday. Exactly. There's a lot of work to be done, but we'll, we'll get to the bottom of it. Thanks so much, Richard. Thank well you. done to you. Let's go to Kaylin. She's standing in for the dad this afternoon from the Kreef's table, and uh, nice to see you walking up the stairs. And I said, come on, give us a smile. You've got to smile. It's a tough game out there. The pressure is on. I saw your dad the other day. The body yeah. language was, you could just see what, what's happening out there yeah. at the moment. The punters feel the same, the owners, the trainers, and you take it on the chin and you stand up, and it's a nice way to get off the canvas this afternoon to finish the day. Well done. Thank you. What a relief. <laughs> it is a relief. It's a yes. relief for everybody, Kayla. Definitely. Yeah. Because they're looking well. They're looking fantastic. So, yeah. I, I must say, do? you know, on the day today, I think about three races, the best mm. movers to post, the pick of the parade rings, was Alan's horses. Yeah. But the moment they come under pressure, they seem to just not be finding. Yeah. So. It's frustrating. Um, just have to go back home and and double check and make sure what's happening. All right, but it was, your yeah. was your dad on the phone after this? He's very happy. He's like, yeah, eventually. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Owned by, by the great family from the Maritzman yes. Teen Stud and the Jowls, everybody involved, and so well-bred, the mother's.
smart call having won the Met a couple of years back. There's uh, obviously going to go off to stud one day. I'm sure she will, but well done to um, oh, Rose Fontaine. Yeah. Um, Jessica, very, very well done. She's a lovely filly. All right. Well, thanks so much for ending the day on a good note. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> All right. There we go. Thanks so much to Kaylin coming through this afternoon. And to Alan, if you are watching the final wrap this afternoon, and uh, we hope things from you pick up and tick positively going forward. That's all, guys. It's a wrap from us, from myself, Neil Pretorius, my co-presenter, Nadine Lower key She's also smiling because the Griff Stable had a winner in the lucky loss. Pauline doing the duties with the camera this afternoon, Pauline Herman. Thanks to Liesel and her entire team, the gentleman uh, behind the camera crew upstairs today for the first time. Thanks to him and everybody in all the various posts as well. Sishlek is his name. We'll be back this coming Friday. <laughs>